Hey YouTube, welcome and thank you for watching this video. Listen, to change this filter system, it's very, very easy. This box I got from Costco. It comes with the battery inside, so you don't have to get a battery. Okay, so uh, as you can see here, these are the three filters. I already took them out of the, uh, here, let me take them out of the, uh, the wrapper or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, there's three of them that we need to change every six months. One, two, and three. Yes, here we go. Okay. Those three needs to be changed every three months. And the membrane one, the, uh, needs to be changed every two years. Okay. Okay. First thing I did is I turned on the faucet to drain all the water and I used the water to fill so I can use it for plants or something or drinking whatever after about five minutes or so it gets drained and then the stream becomes very small or low at that time you can go underneath and go ahead and shut that T valve so you stop the water flow and the water pressure now I tried to stop the T flow <coughs> the the flow of the water from the beginning and that's when the whole thing stops working so you need to make sure that you keep the water coming so it would uh, provide pressure so it will drain the system and then once it becomes very small stream of water that's when you shut it off okay so now i did uh, stop the t valve and that's why the water stopped completely now i'm ready to change the filters let's see how that will go i can see there's a line here an arrow going this to the clocked. So what we have to do is that we have to turn it around. Here we go. Till it becomes to the unlocked. There's a little thingy here. And this is when you can remove it, as you can see there. See, there's just some water that came out, that's fine. And now we put the green one instead. Actually, we need to also remove the, let me see, this is the green. And we have green, we have yellow there and we have the purple so the blue one i'll leave it there that's the membrane as you can see there it says membrane that's only every two years so make sure you write the dates down and every six months we need to change those three other filters okay you can write the date right there on the box from the outside is where i stuck the sticker there and it shows the date first installation you can put all the other dates all right so today it's been six months so I'm gonna change the date today and write the new one once I'm done all right so comparing the old one with the new one I can see that there's some kind of a cover here so you have to remove the cover let's see like this maybe oops let me try again oh I turned it around still not working let me see how I can do this. Maybe I need two hands for this one sec. Okay, I found out. You just have to squeeze it and then it will come out. All right. And now we have it looking just like the old one and it's ready. So don't make a mistake and put the old one back again. This is the, the new one. I'm gonna align with this arrow. You're gonna have to align this unlocked one. You see here, unlocked. I align it with the arrow there and I insert. I need two hands, so let me do that. All right, so two hands worked and I was able to insert it this way. This is the unlocked to the arrow and now I start moving it clockwise till this line becomes here and it should be now good to go because the line is aligned. All right, that's done. So I'm going to do the same thing here with the purple one. You see here, it tells you the RO membrane is the blue one on the, in the back to the right. So this one is the purple right there and the yellow one is behind it. So here we go. We do the same thing. It's a line now locked. I'm going to turn it counterclockwise and some water might come out. Here we go. Yep, some water to come out, so no big deal. I'll put this one on the side as the old one, and then I'll grab the new one right here. Also remove the cover, and then 
do the same thing find that unlocked and then I insert it I need two hands for that let me see there we go hold, well hold on okay so I learned the lesson basically you just have to put it this way where you see this one unlocked is in one line with or under exactly the line here where the arrow is and then you just give it a little push there we go it went inside see this is out and this is in there you go so now it's in all I have to do is just do a clockwise turn till it becomes in place completely there we go that's it but guess what the mistake I did I didn't take out the other one so let me take it out again real fast here we go see I hope you learn from my mistakes here's the yellow one <coughs> go okay I'm gonna need the right hand for that one same movement counterclockwise take it out some water comes out and it will stop because we have the t-valve shut off I'm gonna clean some of this water because I don't want to leave too much water here and I'll get back to you alrighty then so now it's uh, dry and I'm ready to install them now see how I have two empty ones there Anyway, so if you think about it, which one do I have to put first? Well, all you need to do is look here and you see that the one on the inside is the yellow and the one outside or closest to me is the, the purple one, magenta, whatever. So here we go, the yellow, I'm gonna put it in its place, use my right hand and make sure you have the, the alignment ready. Where is it? One sec. All right, so here's the unlock sign. I'm gonna keep that towards me and insert it up there in its place. There we go. There we go. You see that? I'm putting it in the proper area. All right, so I have to use both hands and keep pushing underneath, made sure I align the unlock sign with this uh, arrow here, the plastic. So I was able to insert it up there in its proper place and it went in. Now I need to turn it around, turn it till it's in, it's locked. You see, it's going up also slowly till it's in the lock position, which is this one right here. We can see the lock sign or the icon right there now i can do this one same way make sure you have the unlock sign right there push upwards and then start turning around till it's right there in its place and that's about it all right so now everything is in its place i can now switch the the valve up there so it's well Send the water into the system. I can hear it. And let's see the water up there. It starts filling up. I'm gonna flush the system. So I'm gonna leave it on for a while till the water starts coming out and then leave it for maybe five, 10 minutes. We'll see, there we go. The water started coming out slowly. I can hear it. It started doing its job. All right. It's, uh, I think, filling the tank slowly. I can hear the water in there. And good thing there's no leak. I don't hear anything outside. It's open all the way. There we go. So we should be good to go. How's the water? Nothing yet. All right, I'm gonna keep it open till it flushes the system. Now I'm gonna take the cover and put it back. There we go, it's so easy.
no leak, no leak, nothing. So I put it back. Good, looks good. It feels close tight. And I can throw this away. And we wait for the water. And now the water started dripping down. I'm gonna leave it there for for a little bit so it will flush the system. And meantime, I'm gonna take this battery that came with the filter box and uh, replace it. You know how to do that, right? You just open this black piece, you take it out, and then you replace it. All right, let's do that. Here we go. This is it, the black piece. I'm gonna try to take it out somehow. It's like a little drawer that you need to take out. All right, with two hands, I was able to pull it out slowly. And here it is coming out. This is it. I need to replace this with the new one. All right, so I was able to push this a little bit from the side, hoping I don't get anything damaged. And then the battery is exposed. I'm gonna take the old one, throw it away. Take the new one, open it. All right, the new one is ready. I'm gonna try to see if I can put it there. There we go. Nice, it's like a mirror. All right, so what I did is I made sure it's like almost flat. I pulled the, the rubber piece around it to make sure it's, it looks exactly like I saw it at the beginning. And this side is also kind of flat on the middle level. This way I don't make sure I make sure I didn't damage or anything. You see good. And now I'm gonna replace it back. Here we go. Is it this side or that? I'm not sure. Let me see if this is see it feels better this way. I should have checked earlier. Can go back to see the video just take the video and it's this side towards me so the mirror side or the battery side is closest to us and then we start inserting it back slowly but surely in its place as soon as you put it back in its place the blue light starts coming out because it's still on I leave it on for like 10 minutes to drain the system and then I'll close it. This way we not drain, but basically flush the system. That's a better word for it. I still don't feel it's in its place exactly, but anyway, I'll keep trying. It's still blue. Let me try. blue good at least it's not red anymore all right so now you know how to change the filter on this system and good luck to you